Hey guys, good evening. Welcome to the other episode of my Lotus Elise Improvement Series. So tonight I'm gonna do something maybe interesting, maybe not, but uh, it's pretty much an experiment. So I want to see so what's gonna like if I remove the snorkel. Yeah, so I'm talking about the intake snorkel for the uh, Lotus Elise 1.8 supercharged engine. So as you guys probably noticed. Uh, on my previous videos when I drive my car uh, so you didn't really hear the supercharged weighing noise uh, that kind of uh, you know the, zzz, the, the yeah just those kind of sound so that's another that's not another pretty good um, characteristics for the supercharged engine so I believe most people will like it yeah so I've done some research online so there's a few people already done the, the stocko delete and nothing wrong with it. So what, what I'm about to find out today is just because I think for the uh, new shape 2ZR 1.8 engine so there's not much reference online so to remove the, the stocko but the layout should be pretty similar with the old shape. So let's see how everything goes and yeah, let's start doing it. And I believe you guys already hear some uh, other kinds of supercharge from uh, Lotus, maybe the Exige or other uh, Elise supercharged, but the, the old shape with the 2ZZ engine. But for the 2ZR, this one is probably the first time you can find online. So, because I didn't see any videos. Someone removed the snorkel for the 2ZR 1.8 supercharged engine from Elise or other cars. So tonight I'm about to find out what's going to happen. Okay, let's start working on it. Alright guys, so the wheel is off the car now. Mm -hmm. I think it's lucky I decided to do it tonight because I probably find another small issues. As you can see here. So the wheel boat. So this thing becomes slightly rusted on the surface, some corrosion, and when I try to remove the bolt, it's pretty hard to remove. I think the it's probably slightly seized on the thread. So what I'm trying to do tonight also, so I'm gonna use the NTCs. Yeah, I still have some left in my car. So copper entity is for all the bolts, so I'm gonna apply on it yeah, to el eliminate this problem in the future. So, Alright, so you can see, so the next step, so pretty much simple, straightforward. So what we're gonna do, you just need to remove the, the wheel liner, the fender liner, whatever you call it. So there are a couple of plastic clips so very simple we just need to remove it and we can access access to the the snorkel behind yeah I've been driving the car for quite a while as you can see so this thing holds up pretty tidy yeah still very clean just a little bit yeah all right yeah, so let's get some tools and start with, oh, look at this. Who's that? Oh, that's a new super, man. Yeah, but to be honest, so I don't, I don't know how to like you, man. So you're fast, but I don't like automatic cars. Sorry about that, bro. Yeah, so the wheel liner came off. So when we remove the clips, so pretty easily. Just make sure to to remove all the clips because there's another one down there. So, yeah, I don't have to mention. But the problem with those kind of clips is the screw is pretty easy to get stripped, so you have to be really careful because it's plastic. Yeah, let's have a look first. All right, so now let's have a look what's going on inside. So this is the first time I see my car from this angle. And you can see this stock here. 
Now look, look at this foam pad. So it doesn't really... Yeah, probably can reduce some squeezing noise. Uh, but what is this pad doing here? Mm, not too sure. Oh, probably some, some crush type of uh, protection. So, yeah, just similar as the material you used in the helmet. Yeah, some kind of things. Mm. Yeah, that's the air filter. Oh, is it secured? Yeah. So, I think now I just have to remove this and just to check everything else. So make sure everything else is fine. All right. I think there's another two clips around the snorkel because I watched one of my friends' video, Louis Louis Garage. You can check it out. So he removed that for his uh, previous Exige supercharge. So I think it's pretty similar. I think the the parts number is pretty much the same. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so if you guys see from here, so one of the clip is inside there. So I'm about to remove that one first and see what's going on. Yeah, so this angle is not that easy to reach. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, so guys, I must be honest with you guys. So, so Lotus is definitely not an easy car to work on. You can see the first clip, I already removed it, but it took me about 5 minutes. So the first one is already in a pretty awkward situation. And the second one is on the top. You, can, you can't really see it, but you can feel it, you can touch it. So the only way to reach is from this angle. Let me show you. So all the way. I believe you guys already see it, so it's on the top of the, the air filter. So it's not that easy to see, yeah, but I can try to feel it. Alright guys, I think I found the solution for that. So check this out. So what you're going to do is to find out the Phillips screwdriver head. You have to use your finger to remove that. So don't go, don't go this way. So you should just go this way. So what we can do is just try to put your hand inside to feel where is the location of the clips. Yeah, I think I find it. Then you can turn the screw to slowly loosen up. It's coming out. Yeah, so it's literally inside. So you can't, you can't really do anything from the top. Yeah, so we finally came off. So I nearly cut this in the half, you know. Yeah. Alright, so now I think it's all good to just put this thing. Yeah. Alright guys. So this is a snorkel. Mm, I'm not too sure, you know, but what it really affect the airflow? It look like inside is pretty rough condition. Mm, let me see. So I just turn on the light. So right now we just rely on the only one hole on the air photo box. And you get the air. It's pretty pretty efficient. Yeah, without even without a snorkel. Hmm. So basically, what I believe this uh, air filter snorkel is used to 
reduce the supercharger noise. Yeah, as a car manufacturer, sometimes they want to reduce some um, unnecessary noise. Maybe some people think the supercharger noise is annoying, but some like it. So uh, now I just try to put everything back on and take it for a drive and see if there's any other improvement like a throttle response. Yeah, because this thing, as you can see, is I'm not too sure if it's restrictive or, but it doesn't really look ideal for me. Yeah, so now I'm gonna put everything back on and take it for a drive. So hopefully I can see the difference, so I can hear the supercharger noise. All right, so I'll talk to you later. Alright, so I will take the car for a drive. Yeah. Yeah, so this is not a POV meter, but yeah, maybe I just go for a drive and if I see the supercharged noise, I'll record it so you guys will see how it's gonna sound like. Hey yeah, guys. So the car now is warmed up. Uh, I'm gonna put the camera on the passenger seat. I will do some pulls so you can see the difference. So right now I'm trying to go for a straight line. Yeah, the air is good. Let's check no traffic. crazy as the oak shape 2ZZ supercharger so those oak ones are the best you see yeah but overall so I'm really happy about the result and but now it's about 11 p.m. so I have to go home now see you next time guys